Hi, my friends. Just doing a quick update about the global events and stuff like that. We um, so first thing is that we know that something's not going to happen this weekend. Well, we're not always know one hundred percent certain. There's nothing. What I mean by that, there's no There's not going to be an invasion of Russia attacking Ukraine. Nothing major global event this weekend because we saw it in the stock market today. I, mean, I told you money kind of speaks through the spiritual world and through uh, you know the worshiping of the dollar and all these other things. But we could, I could tell by the day the movement of the market, the way it moved down, and uh, so that actually that they're probably I'm not giving stock market advice. They're probably going to bring it up on uh, Tuesday because there's President's Day on Monday, so markets will be closed. So it's probably going to be a very green day on Tuesday. Okay, so you know, what whatever that means. That the reason they did this, the way they sold it off today, means the way that they that the market talked. Because remember that things talk and everything that went around us talks. You know, music, uh, money, politicians, and all these things are talking, both spiritually and also about you know future events and stuff like that. So the way that it that played off that the fact that it went down red today, no, not terribly, but it went red. It tells us that there's no major event coming up this weekend. They're going to run this thing probably green on Tuesday. But going forward from that, it does you know then it's all the games off later in that week. Okay, so you know, and I'll be monitoring that uh, myself to see what's going on. So. Anyway, so, so that's enough about the stock market because some of you probably don't care. You know, some of you don't, don't even care, but you got to realize it is an important part of the piece because that market moves the world, right? Like I said, that's why they call it the stock market because there are cattle to it. You got a bond because you got to bond yourself out of the system, right? Stocks and bonds, right? They got to be trapped into into it, right? So anyway, um, so what do I tell you about what I was thinking about? Okay, so I got word that. Even from my mother, surprisingly, the Fox News is talking about this. That we talked about February um, the 20, uh, 22nd, that something big was going to happen. Well, guess what? Well, they, apparently, that is very important to Russian, the number 222 two, two or something about that. She said that date has very important significance to Russia. So, um, and they said that it's possible that is the date that Russia actually does some kind of military action or invasion on U Ukraine, right? But the fact that they actually told us this makes me think that it probably won't happen because 90% of this world is about surprises. So it'd be a day before, a day after if anything's happening because that's the way this reality works. It makes you think you got it, but then you find out you're off, right? So, but anyway, so that's, that. so, but we do know that there's something, like you said, there's probably some major event between here and the 22nd of February, that, you know, because we have astrological signs, we have all these things. So, but it's interesting that they brought this up now, okay? Um, what else is going on? Um, uh, uh, yeah, just so you know, uh, you know, we're losing people, they're, they're, people, uh, even good brothers and sisters, very solid with the Father and the Lord, very strong, very strong. They know deep scripture beyond the Christianity stuff. They are losing their minds. I'm not kidding you, and I'm not gonna mention names, I went to bed last night thinking, my gosh, is anybody sane left? I mean, really. They, there's uh, major cases of depression uh, with my friends. There's cases of, of just um, bipolarness swinging uh, all over the place. Uh, there are cases of just, um, just losing their minds, right? And, you know, I'm not the one that says these are, are um, saints or uh, whatever. It surprises me that, uh, that, that I have so many friends that close to me that I worked with over this last year that are fully awake that they are mentally losing their minds. I mean, get bizarre and being wishy-washy about believing in this and then all of a sudden swinging to that and swinging back and forth. Now, is that a part of the process that, that says in Scripture that the saints will be worn out? Well, I don't know, but we need some sanity. I, I, told, I told the Father the Lord last night, I said, I need some brothers and sisters, not I, we, as a team, we need somebody who has some sanity left in their heads, because, I mean, I'm serious, because this is not only a spiritual war, it is, I told you, it's all three fronts, it is a physical war, because, you know, they're poisonous, their food, people aren't eating well, fast food, this, that, and they put an artificial sweeteners there, so your body, so take care of your body, mental, it's a mental war, because you have got to use discernment, you got to use smarts, you got to, 
you know, think outside the box. You got to do all these things. And then the spiritual aspect. Then you got the spiritual war front where, heck, I've been targeted. I got attacked twice by two demonically possessed people today. Twice. Twice. Just out of the blue. One lady actually called her back on. I walked away and came back to her and I said, man, that was really naughty of you to be that way. And she goes, well, I'm sorry. She actually apologized. Long story behind that. You know, I mean, I couldn't believe this. And uh, so I'm getting attacked constantly, right? You know, and that's going to be part of the game. You're going to be attacked, right? But learn to deal with that. Learn to accept it. Keep a low profile. Keep your mouth kind of, you know, just don't don't engage. Don't entertain the demons. And, you know, and like this lady, I corrected her behavior and she apologized, right? She said, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that way. Yeah, she attacked me for no damn reason. I'm not kidding you. But about my phone, you know. Not even around her, she said, comes, in, comes out of nowhere and says, are you talking on your phone? You're damn right I am. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I mean, it was actually near a YMCA, near uh, out in the pool area, where it's so noisy anyway, it would have made no damn difference. See, they're actually coming after you. Boom. Right? So, and some people don't even realize they've been knocked the pest. You know, heard the, you ever heard the term where it says, I was beside myself? I swear demons can come in and push people out their soul temporarily and take over their body. And that's what they said I'd be beside myself, kind of pushing their, pushing them away from their, uh, their flesh. Not kidding you. There's a lot of terms that describe this. I've had friends that all of a sudden take a download or get their head to spins and attack me, and then all of a sudden, like you know, two minutes later, they act like they don't know what happened, right? So these things are probably real, right? So, anyway, um, that is what it is. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out what she's doing. And so anyway, that's the thing, I'm constantly monitoring who's pulling up behind me, who's this. It's like walking on eggshells. I know that I have no fear, the Father, Lord, the angel protecting me. But that doesn't mean that we have some kind of NPC, soulless HP prison bar that it comes kind of crap because they're, they're sniffing my numbers. I want out of this earth. I want out of this filthy place. This place is so disgusting. These people and just everywhere you go, you can't even... You know, sit on a side street wondering if it's some evil person's going to jump out of there. I don't even recognize this earth. This is not my original earth. No way. Way worse. But we don't need to go on that, so sorry about my ramble. Okay, so back to global events. Um, we don't know. Uh, you know, there's always something that's in the back of my head. There's a, the iPad Go To video. I had Juanita Bay, uh, you know, had the uh, hammer and the, the sickle. Uh, with uh, which was represent Russia with a guy drowning, this Hispanic guy, and it showed uh, Juanita a tattoo on his left arm. We're trying to diagnose that. Uh, you know, many people have. All I know is that Juanita Bay in Washington, uh, you know, uh, state of Washington, that that could be a reference to. You know, down the road, does that mean Russia does something to Washington? Don't know. Don't really know. But uh, you know, this defense scheme of of predictive programming is just. You know, it's it's a pain in the butt, to be honest with you. That's why I don't spend too much time on it. Because it's another rabbit hole where people are spending their entire lives of focusing on that versus being with the Father and the Lord and defend themselves. But it does important that we actually pay attention to these things because it helps us prepare and plan, like I said, and know what they're kind of playing a little defense stuff, you know, see what the games are. But I'm tired of the damn games and drama. I am sick of it, right? All right, so uh, I was hoping to give you more information. Um, shoot. Well, uh, the, yeah, that's about it. Well, so I'm sorry. Maybe I do a better job of uh, having collective stuff. But anyway, God bless and love you all.